Hey everyone, today we are going to do the astronaut lander challenge. Laid out here, you will see the supplies that we need. You will need some large marshmallows. They are going to represent your astronauts. You will need one to two large marshmallows for your astronaut. You will also need a cup, and that cup represents your spaceship. Then you will need utensils and equipment like a scissors, a marker, pen or pencil works just as well. That's for the planning process. Index cards, a harder or sturdier piece of paper or cardboard. You can use string. You can also use rubber bands if you have rubber bands on hand. And lastly, you are going to need some straws. You can also use the straws. The astronaut lander challenge is all about learning kind of what it takes to land on the moon or Mars. Landing on the moon and Mars is tricky. A lander headed to the moon, it can go as fast as 24,816 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. 24,816 miles per hour. Those on their way to Mars might go up to as fast as 13,000 miles per hour. A little slower, but still extremely fast. So, to land gently, these spacecraft need a slowdown before touching the surface. So if there's astronauts on board, the lander needs to keep them safe, too. In this challenge, use what you know and what you can investi investigate about gravity, motion, and forces, along with the target of your choosing, the moon or Mars, or even beyond, to design and build a lander that will protect your two astronauts, so those marshmallows and you will design and build what that spaceship with that landing gear will look like. Just as engineers had to develop situations for landing in different kinds of vehicles on the moon and Mars, you will follow the engineering design process to design and build a shock absorbing system out of simple materials and improve your design based on the results of your test landing. Your first step is going to be to draw what you want your plan to look like. Here's my drawing for what I'm going to try to make. I have a cup, you also need mini marshmallows, and I have my mini marshmallows lining the bottom of my cup. And then on the sides here I have straws that go across and under the cup and on the outsides. So that's what I'm going to try, but you take some time and come up with what you think will be best to make sure your cool large marshmallows, those astronauts, have a safe landing. After you design that, you're going to test things out. So what you're going to do is you're going to make that. I use my straws, tape them together, and it, you can see it goes through the bottom there. I even use some mini marshmallows to add some extra cushion on some extra stabilizers. And then my large marshmallows go right in here, and I will drop this from one foot in the air to see if it lands and stay standing and to make sure my marshmallows don't pop out the top. So part of this challenge is not using a lid. You are not allowed to cover any of the top portion of this space. And if it doesn't work, try it again. Make some adjustments. Build new. Start again. See what works. And once you get it to work from one foot in the air, dropping it one foot in the air, try lifting it even higher and drop it using all of those utensils you have. Good luck. 